sometimes I worry that I'm like pre pre menopausal. Uh, because I'm just, I'm never like a comfortable temperature unless it's like 63 degrees. Um, like my whole closet, the sleeves are all gone from all my t shirts because I feel this part of my body is particularly warm at all times. But I like the way this jacket photographs. <laughs> So I wore it the first night, and it was, it was cold in the venue, so it worked out great. And then the second night, we played in Vegas, and it was really cold in the venue, and so it worked out awesome, and then I just committed. And then, now we're like in winter, so the venues are heated, and I'm like, just blazing up here. Now I can't take it off because, man, I like the way this looks in photos, so. You know, back when we put out the con, not everyone had um, a camera and cell phone and smartphone and a social media page, so we, Sarah was talking about this last night, like, we did not give a shit. <laughs> like, we get up on stage and whatever we wore in the van that day, no makeup. We would've got our hair cut and like seven months had gone by and it just grown out like, <laughs> and that was like my hairstyle. People did take photos, but they were film photos, and so different, you know. People would be like, oh my god, I finally got my film developed like nine years later. <laughs> I don't have this fun, blurry photo of you. And you'd be like, I look pretty good, actually. My skin looks pretty good. It's, it def that's definitely something that has changed in 10 years. Yeah. Um, thanks. Thank you. You're so far away. So. No, I actually feel like, you know, that thing that happens where, um, like, not to make fun of people who age poorly, like, I mean, that's a whole thing unto itself, and I think. <laughs> all about you know, just circumstances under which people don't have control like on a like genetic cellular level but i exactly. feel like all things considered like we look pretty pretty good for the reason. sometimes I, don't, I think everyone does this but like every tour i'm like i am getting off this tour and i'm gonna get ripped like i am gonna be the sickest I've ever been, like after every tour I always think that I'm gonna do that and like, I'm like, I'm gonna become, not like ripped like a bodybuilder, like more like a ninja, like I'm like, wait till people see me in my solo project and it's just like, it's your solo project will be alone, like, yeah, but like are you aware of different kind of, oh yeah, I was just about, thank you for interrupting, I was actually getting that, but, so in this other, it's not thing to ask questions, I know, but I, if you just, a little bit, I'm, into what the people want, I'm yeah. just asking for it. Don't worry, I'm going there. So, in this solo project where I'm super ripped like a ninja, I always have some kind of like avant garde nudity. It's always like, yeah, it's always like, I'm gonna get so ripped and I'm just gonna have this crazy new life and this new side project. And you sound like a song. That would be some, I am. And so, but it, no, the project is avant garde. It's like, I'm not gonna sell anything. But it'll be like, you know, like some part of my app will be showing or something. And I'll just, and people will be like, God damn, she is ripped. Like, we had no idea how fit she was. You could be that nice. Yes. I mean, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty fit under here, but it's like, it's it's gonna be more ninja like, you know, it's gonna be sort of like effortless. Like, you know, just like this. Or I just work eight to nine hours a day on this. It's not Anyways, the music's gonna sound like that. Whatever that is, it's gonna sort of be like fit ninja music, and people are gonna be like, yeah, they definitely thought that that whole, like, you know, it was over, you know? They were almost 40, and they had a good run, and it was a couple of great real peaks for them, and then we were like, what are they gonna do next? And I was like, I could never have imagined that Sarah was gonna come up with, like, a fit ninja record, which is <laughs> That should be your band name. No, fit ninja sounds too much of a Super Mario spinoff, but I think, It'll be something. It'll be something. It'll be something good. Um, so that leads me into something relevant, which is the next song. And uh, this next song was a single off of this record, and it didn't do well. But it goes to show you that it really doesn't make um, a world of difference if you have a single or not, because what connects with people over time sometimes is unpopular music. And while people like to tell themselves that this record was a very popular record for us, it actually didn't feel that popular at the time. And it has grown, like, um, it's aged well, like they say. You know, it was sort of like one of those wines that people underestimate, but 10 years later, people start drinking and are like, damn, that, that tastes 
great. And <laughs> this album, while popular with some people, um, was not that popular with all the people. And so we did not get radio play or a lot of mainstream support. Um, Maybe you should cover it for Fit Ninja. No, <laughs> no, I don't want any affiliation with Tegan and Sarah. Like, no offense, like, the brand is fine, but I want to look fresh, you know? <laughs> There's something fresh. I have a feeling that a lot of Tegan and Sarah fans are going to come to your shows. You know, don't support them. <laughs> you know what? I want, I want a little work for it. You know, I don't... Come to me on my, like, third record as a Fit Ninja. Like, don't start with me. Or my sort of phenomenal sort of... Like, don't. Just get, make me really, like, you know, like, wonder what it was all for. <laughs> if you really love me. If you know anything about me, you know that I prefer that you wait until the third record to support me. Um, it's the only way that I'll really know that you like me or see me, you know? And if you if you come on board too early, I'm just gonna not believe or trust your love. Um, sort of a childhood thing. Um, anyways, this song is called Back in the Room. Repeat, repeat the words that I 